Does it ever happen to you that you look at your freshly based and painted miniature and you go, hmm, something's off with the basing here? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you all the basing tricks that no one is telling you about. I'm gonna be using a new texture paste, AK Interactive Send Me, finally in a good size pots to create a good harmony between the miniatures and the base using just a bit of color theory. Try to link this four texture paste I'm gonna use, yellow, green, oxide and violet to their correct space marines and if you want you can share your results in the comment section down below but remember there is really not right or wrong there is correct and more correct and wrong i have three main arguments for this well actually i've just have one which splits into two and the main one is that your base can not in any case take off attention and focus from your miniature. But what does it mean? It simply means that the value, aka brightness, cannot be higher in the base than on the miniature, and the hue, aka color, cannot be warmer on the base than on the miniature. Because these are the two things that will grab the attention of your miniatures towards your base. And you don't want that, do you? Does that mean that you have to throw out your freshly bought texture paste that you purchased from the link down below? Of course not! <laughs> Let me show you some examples by using the texture paste I mentioned before, yellow, green, oxide and violet. Starting with a desert-like texture, putting a cold marine here would kind of grab the attention towards the base, which you don't want. What would I do is to put a neutral marine on this, like white, grey or black. In this case, I picked Sons of Phoenix because of their purple accent that complements the yellow. Because yellow and purple are complementary colors, which means they sit on opposite side of the color wheel. Even though I'm using a pretty neutral color, I still want to dull down that yellow saturation a bit. And in order to do that, I'm going to be using these amazing new products from AK Interactive. They're enamel liquid pigments. I'm going to put the link in the description. Unfortunately, they are not paying me to say this. This enamel wash won't just dull down my yellow, but it will also give that pigment effects you get from powder pigments, which is so cool. Moving on to the greenish texture paste, I'm gonna be using that for my blood angels. This is because green is a cold color and red is a warm color. And plus, they are also complementary colors. Still, this green being very, very saturated, I will still be using a wash to dull it down. For oxide, this is pretty much the color that I used to base my miniature in the last video, which it seems it might sit in a contradictory position. This is because Dark Angels are green, which is a cold color, and oxide is a brownish tone, which is a warm one. And that was true. But in that case, I used very dark pigments and I pushed a lot the value, aka the brightness on my space marine, so it's okay. But anyway, in this case, I'm gonna be using a salamander, which has a warm yellow component that it's gonna steal away the tension away from the oxide. For this pretty desaturated, aka grayish violet, I'm gonna be using Imperial Fist because they're yellow and they're complemented by the violet base. Even though this kind of violet, it's more on the bluish side, but I think it's gonna work out anyway. Psst, check out this video on color theory if you wanna know more. 